Hi, I'm Jo from Jojo and Bella and today I'm going to teach you how to create this concertina birthday card. Um, this is the perfect project for you if you want to create something a little bit different for your friend or loved one who's got their birthday coming up or maybe a graduation or you just want to show them um, that you love them and want, want to make them feel special. This is the project for you. So um, to create this project, you're going to need um, about 110 pound cardstock or it's 290 GSM. You need something that is going to keep, keep its strength, keep it sturdy. You're also going to need some other coloured cardstock to create the other elements of the design. Maybe some glitter cardstock for the stars, some mirror cardstock. Um, and to create the folds, I used a scoring wheel and I also used the pen tool to create these um, balloon strings. Um, but you can also draw that by hand. So this um, card folds up and fits. Um, this is a 6.5 by 9 inch Nidge envelope, but of course with any project with Cricut, you can change the size um, to fit, fit your needs. I will put a link below uh, for my blog post with more links so where you can grab this free SVG to create this project. I also have a free SVG library with hundreds and hundreds of other free SVGs, so please do check that out. So if you want to uh, create this project with me, let's get to our computers and let's get started. Right, so we're going to head over to free SVG files at jojoandbella.com. There's a link at the bottom of this video for you to find this length, or if you head over to my free SVG library where there's hundreds and hundreds of free SVG files, you'll be able to find it there. You can just search for the concertina birthday card SVG. Just select the license that you want. Today we're using the personal use only. If you've registered an account, you can just select download now and it will download automatically. We're going to head over to Cricut Design Space and upload our SVG file. Once uploaded, you'll find that all three sections of the concertina card are grouped together. So just select ungroup. Now we can work with each section individually. I've size this birthday card accordingly to fit a specific envelope. If you want to change the size, make it bigger, for example, that's absolutely fine. You can do it manually like so or punch in the, the size that you want here. That's fine. Just when you come to resizing the, the rest of the card, you just have to make sure that this section here lines up correctly with the other section like so, so when we come to make the card, this little section here will be glued behind this section and the same here as, as so. So that's what we just need to do. So I'm going to just select backspace because I'm happy with the size that, that I've got it at. I'll just double, double check that it all lines up. Yes, it does. Now I'm going to work with this section here. I'm going to select ungroup take the top layer off. Now I want to tell Cricut that I want it to cut this section, but then this middle bit here, I want it to score because that's the fold of the birthday card. And these little bits here are the balloon strings and I want Cricut to draw them. So let's just zoom in a little bit so you can see. So all of this is grouped together, select ungroup. I'll leave the, the outer cut line, that's fine, we want that to stay the same, but this I'm going to change to score, and these bits here, I'm just holding down shift, change to pen, double check that one was pen, yeah, then select it all, select attach now. They're all attached together so that when we come to make it, Cricut will know where to score, where to pen line and where to cut all in all in the appropriate place, not random places on your map. I'm just going to repeat the process for the other two sections. These sections here are going to be fold lines. More balloon strings, select a 
attach. Oh, I haven't. I need to ungroup that. Ungroup. And we are good to go. Select make it. Now this is what it should like look like on your card, um, on your mat, sorry. All three back sections of the concertina card and then the individual colored elements that we will be gluing on top. I'm happy with all, with all of that. Obviously if you're, I don't know, a Cricut crafting pro, you can arrange these differently to save materials or for fast crafting that's fine do so but i'm going to leave that there for now now my cricut machine is on and my bluetooth is working but sometimes this just takes forever so i'm going to wait for this to to connect now obviously choose what whichever cardstock that you like i'm using Quite heavy cardstock. It's uh, 110 pounds. It's 290 GSM cardstocks. With me, when I usually use uh, heavy cardstock, quite often the glitter cardstock setting works well for me. I've never had a problem with that, so I'm going to use this one today. Obviously, use what whatever setting works best for you. Um, and it should. Yeah, it should tell you what to, what tools to upload and when to change. So it's going to start off with cut. So we're going to go ahead and make it, and I will show you come show you that then. Alrighty. Right, so all three sections are now cut out. I've got my card cut out, I've got the pen lines, I've got my score lines. I'm now going to glue these sections together. This is my third, this is my second, this is my first section. Bring up the design on your computer so you can refer to. And we are going to glue this bit here behind this section. Today I'm using this glue, so literally just put a little bit here, layer this on, perfect, she says. that to dry and then we're going to cut the rest of it out all right okay so now that the cards all dry we've got all our bits um all cut up we're now going to lay everything out in place and start gluing it to the card let me just check you can see yes you can um i've just pulled up the original design on this bella's funky little iPad so we can see where everything goes nice and easily. Uh, I'm just going to lay some bits out here like so and then once you're ready and you think you've got it all how you want to see there's also these little bits tiny little don't want to lose those little bits for the balloons once we've got it all ready to go we're just gonna stick them so I stick the these bits with this and then because I want 
the letters to jump out a little bit I'm going to be using this is sticky glue dots you can't really see you kind of find them on a lot use people use them a lot for card making so you can bunch them up into a little ball like so and then I'll show you bunch up loads of them and it will make them a little bit more 3D. So I'm going to go do this now. I'm going to go stick bit by bit so you can see what it will look like once it's finished. <laughs> run out of uh, sticky dots like I have um, you could use these foam pads or you could use them anyway I just cut them up super small So once you're finished, it should look something like this. It's all dry and all the, the letters and the stars are all glued on. Next, you just need to fold on the fold lines. If you've got a ruler, that would work for now. And just carefully fold. And that's it all finished. What a fun project. I absolutely loved it. I'm so pleased with how it turned out. I think my boyfriend's going to really like it when I give it to him tomorrow. Uh, if you like free SVG files, cricket tips and tutorials, then head over to jojoandbella.com. I've got hundreds and hundreds of free SVGs, loads of projects for you to have a go at and lots of fun and inspiration. Thank you for watching. Bye.